Hi, this is a video to show how to take a print page and scan it into Voice Dream Reader so that you can make adjustments to the print view. So I'm going to open up Voice Dream Scanner and then I get the camera screen where I can snap a picture of this page, which I have to do a little bit off the camera since it's I need to lift it. So I just position the page and then I have it comes as a thumbnail view in the bottom left of my screen and I can hit save. I'm just doing one page, but you have a batch mode also where you can do <coughs> many pages at a time. So after I hit save, I have save to voice dream reader as one of the options. So I'll do that. I need to title it. I'll hit OK. And then the document's been saved. I can clear the page and go out of the voice dream scanner app and open up Voice Dream Reader. It opened up to my library page and that document um, popped up in my library. So when I tap it, I'm seeing it on the screen and it's in the plain text view. So the, the page has been OCR'd, meaning the optical character recognition. So now it's text that can be, um, I can play or change the visuals on it. So if, if I was to listen to this now and I, I introduction, never in the history of the world was. So I could listen to that and you have all the audio settings, of course. So if I go into the visual settings, you'll see right now it's on plain text. Just so you know, the original layout gives you basically the photo of the document, but you still have the option to listen to it. You can tap or play. Never in the history. Okay, but let's look in plain text is we have a lot of options for visual settings. So we can change the font and the text size, of course, character spacing, line spacing. We also can change the side margins. So if we bump up the side margins, of course we get a narrow column. So in this view, or at this font size, we're getting maybe four to six, seven words on each line. If we bumped up the font size, of course, then we might get fewer words per line, and that can just be read off the screen by scrolling, or there's probably a page turn um, mode also. Something else that might be useful is under advanced visual settings, and that's the number of lines visible. So if I was to change this to five, then we have all of our print just in the center of the screen here. You could still read by scrolling, or you could go ahead and use the speech. If you're using the speech, never in the history of terrible forces seen out of. You have the options to change the colors and or to turn off the visual highlighting, but still listen to it. Um, you can also just set one line, which would give you just a few words on the on the screen at a time. So that's the basics of how to do that.